Hey guys, what's up? Um, got the uh, you guys ready now? I have the one step quarter spark plugs versus the two step quarter spark plugs, and um, the oil return line that I bought for my uh, turbo feed line kit versus uh, the braid line from CX Racing. Got some extra uh, stuff I bought. I bought the oil pan for my car, so because it was pretty rusty, so I don't know if I should drill a uh, hole for the oil pressure gauge, no, for the oil pressure sensor because I got the AM pressure gauge and um the difference between one step, two step is you're making 75 to 100 more horsepower than stock and these ones will be like 150 to 200 uh, over stock so so I just got these just in case if I really need to boost more than four pounds of boost when I start boosting my car um, the big difference between these ones and the stock ones are um, I'll show you um, don't drop these because they're really pre gapped ready so uh, try to focus basically like in these threads uh, the heat will dissipate faster to their cylinder heads because when you dump more fuel more air in your uh, engine it's going to start making more heat and and you're making more heat with the stock ones they will probably have a pre detonations and and plugs will definitely fail and start to knock and like when you uh when the cylinder goes sucking in the fuel and air and like the piston goes back up so it's going to start squeezing when you squeeze air or any, um, when the turbo squeeze air, it, it creates heat. So these will, or will cool down much faster than your stock ones. So that's like pretty much to know about one step, two step holder spark plugs. Um, when you boost, starting to boost or use nitrous. And, uh, that's pretty much it. If you, uh, if you guys have any more info, just let me know if I miss anything, just put on more comment now with the return lines I'm not really I don't know that's kind of sketching me out with the rubber one so I don't know if this, this is long enough for my uh, turbo fee line back to the block here's the CX racing I got so here's a turbo one goes into the turbo steel braided into the oil pan So that's what I'll probably be using. So it's just taking me time to start building the car because it's it's my daily driver and I don't have anything else right now. So I'm thinking about buying another Tebron bone stock B6 2.7 or uh, trying to look for a beta motor with the five speed. I really don't care if it's a five speed or six speed V6. So yeah. Um, if you guys want me to make some videos about dyno, dyno, uh, dyno, like the intakes, to see if there's any making any power with the k and filters to AEM engine or eBay. If you guys want to earn the tight budget and you want to make more power, better fuel economy, just let me know if you guys want to see that or not. So I'll do my time, take, uh, do my time dynoing, dyno these uh, new turbine if I get a new turbine and start messing with these cool air intakes and see if it does make a difference versus the factory with eBay, uh, Canon, AEM, these other brands that we have for ARC vehicles and later on make a video on the exhaust with the eBay exhaust versus Borlaug, HKS or any other thing else just let me know. Thank you for watching. Uh, stay tuned. I'm going to make more videos. Thank you for the support and uh, just if you need any, make me any videos, put in the comment. Thank you for watching.